Singapore's first electric ferry is ready to set sail next month. The vessel will transport workers to and from Shell Energy's facility on Pula Bukom. The launch is a step towards meeting the government's requirement to green harbour craft fleets. With this ferry comes the promise of a cleaner and more efficient ride. Oil giant Shell says it has a battery capacity twice that of most electric ferries of this size, emits less carbon dioxide and no nitrogen oxides and sulphur oxides. It's one of three electric ferries Shell is rolling out. By August this year, we will have three of these fully electric ferries in operation and we'll look and we'll learn from, from these ferries and understand what's, what's possible as we go forward around electrification. Shell sees electrification of port operations, of harbour craft uh, and short sea shipping uh, as a key enabler to, 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 zero, to zero net carbon. The company estimates that electric ferries can save more than 6,000 tonnes of CO2 a year. That's equivalent to emissions from more than 18,000 one-way road trips from Singapore to Bangkok. Singapore's transport minister calls this a significant milestone in the country's decarbonisation efforts. This early initiative can serve as a pathfinder for the maritime sector as the sector gears up to fulfill MPA's requirement for new harbour craft operating in our, port, in our port waters to be fully electric, be capable of using B100 biofuels, or be compatible with net zero fuels by 2030. When all are deployed, the three ferries will transport some 3,000 workers, contractors and visitors a day between Singapore and Pulau Bukom off Singapore's southern coast. MPA is also working with Shell to make the company's charging facilities available to other electric harbour craft. The agency says there is growing momentum to green the sector. MPA is working closely with Enterprise Singapore, the industry and various research agencies to develop a national e harbour craft charging standard. MPA will also identify more sites for e-charging pilot trials for vessels as part of the Charging Infrastructure Master Plan which will be rolled out progressively from 2025 to support the electrification of the maritime sector. Shell and MPA also inked a five-year deal to further Singapore's green plan. This includes research and development of low and zero carbon fuels, testing hydrogen fuel cells on Shell vessels, and training more crew to handle the electric harbour craft.